Number 10. 400-foot frozen ship A giant ship has been found completely frozen in ice in Antarctica. The discovery was made thanks to Google Maps, and the conspiracy theorists have been going nuts ever since it was found. The ship is estimated at about 400 feet long and really is fully encased in ice. Some think it's a luxury yacht that got lost or stranded when moving through the cold waters of Antarctica. Some claim it's evidence of a secret Nazi base in Antarctica, while even others believe the ship is proof of some kind of nefarious project going on that the government doesn't want us to know about. But here's the truth. Nobody actually knows what this ship is all about, or even if it is a ship. The debunking website Snopes doesn't even know. These guys weren't able to confirm or deny that it is an ice ship. However, they did admit there have been a lot of famous ships that have gone missing in the region, and it wouldn't be a far stretch for one of them to have gotten stranded, tipped on its side, and then slowly covered over in snow and ice. Number 9. John Torrington, Ice Mummy The mummy of John Torrington is quite horrifying to look at. He was one of the members of the famous Franklin Expedition that got lost in 1845 while trying to voyage through the Arctic. The sailors ended up cannibalizing one another as they slowly starved to death, and not a single member of the crew of the HMS Terror or the HMS Erebus was ever seen alive again. All 134 men died in search of the Northwest Passage. The ships were just recently found in Canada, frozen underneath the ice, but the frozen mummy of John Torrington was officially found in the 1980s, 140 years after he died. His mummy was exhumed from the shallow grave on Beachy Island by the anthropologist Owen Beatty. There was a small plaque nailed to the lid of his coffin that he was only 20 years old when he perished on January 1, 1846. He was frozen under 5 feet of permafrost, with his corpse in shockingly good condition. He was found with his face poking out through the ice, a disturbing caricature of what the man had looked like during his life. He still had his blue eyes, though they had gone a bit milky and he was still wearing a gray cotton shirt and linen trousers. He even still had his long brown hair. Number 8. Frozen Dog A very brave woman was recently caught on a home security camera, saving a dog that had gotten frozen and stuck beneath the ice of her backyard pool. This happened in Tennessee, and the security footage showed the dog, named Sid, running across the ice of the pool before the ice broke and the dog fell in. The poor thing couldn't get out and was in danger of drowning in just a few seconds. Luckily, the dog's mom didn't hesitate to literally smash through the ice and rescue the frightened canine. She risked her own life and the possibility of herself getting trapped in the frozen pool to save her dog. She pulled the 50-pound animal to safety and then hurried him to the veterinarian. The vet then said that if the dog had spent even just 60 more seconds underneath the water, it's likely he would have died. The dog had to be revived using oxygen and is now fully recovered. Though he's a bit traumatized by his terrible experience with the icy pool, we bet he won't be going anywhere near it for quite some time. Number 7. Frozen in Snow A Swedish man survived two months stuck inside his frozen car. Yeah, true story. As reported by The Guardian, Peter Skilberg was discovered by people passing by his car after it had been encased in ice and snow for nearly 60 days. The temperature outside was around minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit. It was so cold that his doors had frozen shut. He couldn't open them, and then all the ice that piled up on top of his car turned his vehicle into an igloo. He told police that he survived by eating snow and staying day and night inside of his sleeping bag. The chief medical officer at the Norlands University Hospital said he had never seen a case of someone surviving for so long in such dire circumstances. Doctors said Peter only managed to stay alive because all the snow and ice on his car created an igloo effect keeping him warm enough not to get hypothermia. Plus, doctors say that two months is the maximum amount of time that a person can survive without eating. He was definitely weakened and emaciated when he was rescued by a pair of snowmobilers, but he was well hydrated because of slurping up all the snow. As for how Peter got stuck in the first place, he never did say. And that's not a big surprise, as he was probably feeling a little embarrassed. Someone get that man some food. He must be starving. Imagine what that car must have smelt like after that. Yuck. Poor guy. Have you ever been in a situation like that? Do you know anyone that has? Let us know in the comments below, and if you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe button if you haven't already. Number 6. Saturn's Moon, Enceladus Something amazing has been discovered on Enceladus, Saturn's sixth and largest ice moon. 
The Cassini probe discovered methane and plumes of hot water on the icy moon back in the year 2005. But recently, scientists have figured out that the methane coming out of the ice on the moon could be because of microorganisms, in other words, living aliens. Experts with the University of Arizona have created mathematical models to calculate just how probable this is. If correct, it would seem that there is indeed alien life out there, and it's hiding beneath the ice on Enceladus. It hasn't been confirmed just yet, but the methane being created is very similar to how bacteria on Earth living in hydrothermal pits deep in the ocean create methane. These creatures aren't quite as captivating as Klingons or space gremlins, but this could actually be the first form of life, real living organisms discovered on a different planet. Does this discovery excite you or frighten you? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Number 5. Glacier Viruses Scientists have discovered viruses 15,000 years old hiding in glacier ice. Most of the viruses found were previously unknown to humans. This startling discovery came from researchers investigating a glacier in Tibet. They found a horde of viruses, some of which scientists say could give useful insights into how viruses have evolved over millions of years. Viruses and bacteria play vital roles, both good and bad, and we need to understand those roles better. The glacier samples came from 22,000 feet above sea level. These ice samples act as time capsules, since they have been pieces of the past literally frozen inside of them. Scientists identified the genetic code of 33 different viruses, with 28 of them being previously unknown. What's even stranger is that some of them were still alive in the ice. They were basically hibernating, which is incredibly dangerous, because if any of these viruses are contagious and fatal to humans, they could accidentally be unleashed into the population. However, there's some good news. Researchers say that viruses probably originated with plants, not with humans or animals. This means we're safe for now, but who knows what other dangers are just waiting for us in the ice. Number 4. The Ice Worm The ice worm is a bizarre creature that thrives at freezing temperatures. What a lot of people don't realize is that glaciers can actually be home to a whole host of very small and resilient life forms. Ice worms are the most prominent in North America. They are kind of like earthworms that you find in your garden, only they measure roughly half an inch long and are as thin as dental floss. They live all throughout the glaciers of British Columbia and Alaska, with huge gangs of them coming out on sunny days to feed on the algae and microbes on the surface of the ice. Then when they've had their fill, they burrow back down beneath the ice and vanish. During the winter, they stay hidden in the frozen depths until the sun comes back. According to National Geographic, these are in fact very distant relatives of earthworms. They've been surviving beneath the ice for thousands, if not millions of years. Understanding the biology of these unusual creatures is a top priority for scientists right now. By understanding how they tolerate such an extreme cold, we can better understand how life might function beyond Earth. But we don't know everything about the iceworms yet. Most creatures become sluggish and slow when it gets too cold, but the iceworm's energy actually increases the colder it gets. They have some kind of special DNA that makes them thrive instead of die in the ice. Number 3. Cave Lion Cub An almost perfectly preserved specimen of a lion cub was found recently underneath the Siberian permafrost. This is a cave lion cub, and it was frozen for 28,000 years. The beautiful little monster was uncovered in such an amazing state of preservation that it looks like it can just be sleeping. It still has all its golden hair, it has its teeth and its whiskers, and it even has the organs mummified. Researchers say the cub's claws are so sharp that they can still slice through skin. But just what is a cave lion? These were big cats that roamed all across the northern hemisphere back before the ending of the last ice age. They were quite similar to modern lions, just a bit bigger. They were also more ferocious. However, scientists don't know if they evolved to cope with the frozen world of the Ice Age or if the dramatic change in temperature is what ultimately caused them to go extinct. The cub has been named Sparta. She is considered the best preserved animal from the Ice Age ever found by scientists. It's not clear how she died, but the Russian and Japanese scientists working on the case claim that she was not killed by a predator. Instead, she may have lost her mother or even had been buried in a mudslide which would explain how she remained under the ice for nearly 30,000 years. Poor kitty. Number 2. Jean Hillard, Frozen Solid In Minnesota in 1980, Wally Nelson discovered his friend completely frozen. 
just lying in the snow just a few feet from his front door. It was the body of Jean Hillard. She is now one of the only people to have ever been frozen solid and still survive. The young girl was just 19 years old when her car stalled after a night out. She was dressed in nothing but cowboy boots and a flimsy winter coat. She tried to walk back to her friend's house to get some help. It was minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit outside, and before she managed to get to her friend's front door, she tripped, hit her head, and lost consciousness. She then lay in the cold for six straight hours until she was frozen solid. When her friend Wally discovered her, he thought Jean was dead. She was stiff as a board and looked like a frozen caveman. Amazingly, Jean survived. Even though her body temperature was drastically below what it was supposed to be and her face was coated in thin ice, she still survived. Her skin was actually so frozen that nurses couldn't puncture her with a hypodermic needle. The physician who treated her, George Sather, compared her to a piece of meat being taken out of a deep freezer. Still, after warming her with heat pads for several hours, she snapped out of it. They literally thawed Jean out until she was back to normal, and she didn't even walk away with any life-changing injuries. To this day, Jean is considered a medical miracle. And number one, frozen leatherback sea turtle. An endangered leatherback sea turtle was found frozen in the Canadian province of Nova Scotia, literally encased in ice. The giant turtle was found by a local resident who, with the help from the Department of Fisheries and Oceans, had to remove the giant turtle from the ice using wooden planks and a tractor. This is a pretty weird discovery because turtles don't typically wash up here. Sea turtle biologist Mike James said the poor animal was probably feeding very late into the season along the coastline of the Atlantic, munching on jellyfish when it got lost and couldn't find its way back out into the open ocean. The leatherback sea turtle got confused and it landed on a beach where there were no yummy jellyfish to eat and it slowly turned into an icicle while dying of starvation. It was a pretty miserable end of the majestic animal and not the type of thing the locals here are used to finding on the beach. Number 10. Soldiers Artifacts a melting glacier in Italy has revealed a collection of incredible treasures left behind by a group of soldiers in World War I. This isn't the kind of treasure that you would get rich, but it does have amazing historical value. These soldiers' artifacts were found inside a cave near the peak of Mount Scorluzzo. This was the place where 20 Austrian soldiers took shelter during the brutal fight of the war. There was a battle going on in the snowy Stelvio Pass. The soldiers not only had to fight the enemy, they also had to fight the extreme cold. They sought refuge in the cave, and when they left, they abandoned some of their supplies. Things like food containers, straw mattresses, scraps of newspaper, their helmets, some old coins, and even pieces of ammunition. They left the cave in the final days of the war in November of 1918, with their artifacts quickly being covered over by the encroaching ice. But just recently, the glacier began to melt and the artifacts revealed themselves once more. But the amazing artifacts were not the only things to be found near the cave. The remains of two frozen soldiers were also found near the same cave just a few years ago, victims of what was called the White War. It's not clear if these soldiers had bunkered down in the same place, but they were almost certainly part of the fighting and succumbed to the brutal environment. Number 9. Lake Whiskey Treasure hunters have found something delicious hiding in a Canadian lake. They uncovered a single bottle of whiskey from the 1960s. Now, that's definitely not as old as it could be, but the fact that a bottle of whiskey was found on the bottom of Lake Ontario at all is kind of a miracle. And when it comes to treasure, there's nothing better than a treasure you can actually enjoy. But where did this mysterious bottle of whiskey come from? According to local legend, a man crashed his boat into a dock in 1964. When he crashed, he lost his entire case of whiskey. Treasure hunters Dieter Müller and Adam Bloxel wanted to find it to prove the legend true. It took just a handful of attempts before they located the sunken stash and discovered three bottles, though only one was still sealed. The whiskey was from the Gooderham and Wartz Company and still 100% drinkable. But perhaps the most satisfying part for the treasure hunters was that they were proven right. Nobody believed that the whiskey was actually down there until they dove to the bottom of the lake and found them. They believe there could still be some treasure in the area and hope to go back at a later date to excavate and hopefully find some more liquid treasure. Number 8. Antique Lipstick A woman discovered something extremely valuable while poking around in her old Victorian house. Her name is Kate, 
and she purchased a dilapidated home in Connecticut back in 2020 with her husband Cameron. The house is 141 years old, and ever since they made the purchase, they have been painstakingly restoring the old house to make it habitable again, including things like modernizing the electricity and plumbing. The house had been sitting vacant for years before they moved in. It was basically just a ruin. They've discovered smoking residue on the ceilings, a hallway that led to literally nowhere, a set of secret stairs, and a mysterious tower at the front of the house with a window facing inward. It's been quite an adventure, and one of the most fascinating parts has been finding treasures that haven't been touched by human hands for decades. One of the amazing treasures was found hidden behind an ordnance wooden mirror positioned above the fireplace. Behind the mirror, Kate found a stash of old gems, but that wasn't all. She also discovered a Victorian cabinet card hidden behind the wallpaper with the town name in the corner, printed around 1890. There were also antique stamps from 1934. And finally, Kate discovered antique lipstick inside a glass tube, part of a vintage makeup kit that was likely used by the lady of the house over a hundred years before Kate was even born. I wonder if she put it on. Number seven gold bars and plain bathroom. Something amazing was discovered in an airplane bathroom. Workers cleaning the bathroom of a jet after it landed at an Indian airport discovered about $1.2 million in gold bars. Oh yes, this was a very real treasure, and it was left behind in an airplane bathroom of all places. Airport director BP Sharma told NBC News after the discovery that it was, and I quote, quite a surprise. And yeah, that is a pretty big understatement. The gold bars were packed inside of bags, so the cleaners didn't know immediately what they were dealing with. It wasn't until they inspected the bags later that they found the amazing hoard of gold. The weirdest part is that the gold was abandoned in the toilet. Nobody knows how or why it happened, though authorities suspect somebody was trying to smuggle a massive amount of gold into the country. The plane was a Boeing 737, which had just landed in Kolkata and was supposed to take off for Patna. The gold bars had probably come from the United Arab Emirates, though the plane had also made a stop in Bangkok. It could have come from anywhere and was likely scheduled to be picked up by someone else at the final destination. But alas, those blasted cleaners doing their job spoiled the smuggling operation and somebody lost out on a massive chunk of cash. 53 pounds worth of gold to be exact. What do you think the gold was payment for? Who do you think left it behind? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you're liking this video, be sure to hit thumbs up and subscribe button if you haven't already. Number six, sunken Nazi treasures. A Nazi aircraft that was on its way to the Eastern Front had been found at the bottom of the sea. It's been described as an underwater time capsule filled with amazing treasure. These treasures include a belt buckle with a Nazi insignia, a soldier's shaving brush, and a pair of boots. Sure, it wasn't filled with Nazi gold, but the historical relics are still pretty cool. And besides, the airplane is a treasure itself. The plane was part of Germany's Luftwaffe, kind of like the US Air Force that operated during World War II. It was discovered by a team of divers at the bottom of the Black Sea, 70 years after it disappeared in the middle of its flight path. Ever since 1942, the fate of the aircraft and its missing crew members had been a mystery. But thanks to underwater photographer Andrei Nekrasov and the rest of his underwater team, the mystery has finally been solved. One of the strangest things about the discovery is actually the boots, which suggests that one or more of the crew members had managed to escape. No bones were found, so they may not have died inside the plane, but rather escaped and swam to shore. Researchers have determined that the plane probably crashed because of weather conditions, with the pilot being forced to make an emergency landing, probably by accident in the water. Number five, ultra rare gold coin. A treasure hunter has discovered one of the rarest gold coins ever worth, an estimated $200,000. The coin is a gold penny, and it was unearthed by a man named Wes Dean on the border of Wiltshire and Hampshire in the United Kingdom. It is currently the only coin from the late Anglo-Saxon period held by a private individual. However, West could sell the coin at any time and have a small fortune. The coin was minted at the time of the legendary West Saxton King Egbert, who ruled between 802 and 839. There are only eight coins of its kind currently in existence, and they are only held in private institutions, with seven of them housed at the British Museum. But this is the only coin minted under King Egbert, the others were simply minted between 630 and 1257. Scientists didn't even know that Egbert minted gold coins until this one was found. In June of 2021, 
The coin was analyzed, with the results showing that it was made from the highest purity of gold, along with smaller levels of silver and copper. This means it's pure and natural gold. It was probably used for high-status payments, like between royalty or the nobility. Either that, or it was only used as part of sacred religious ceremonies. Number 4. Treasure Ring Archaeologists have discovered a lost Inca ring that somehow washed up on a beach in Florida. It has been called the greatest Inca treasure ring ever discovered in America, and it was found by a metal detecting expert named Gary Drayton, who showed off his discovery on the History Channel series Beyond Oak Island. He was near Vero Beach when he discovered the ring, 22.5 carat, and embedded with nine flawless emeralds. It has been estimated at a worth of around $750,000. Lucky Gary. It probably washed up on the beach because of a hurricane. But how in the world did an amazing ring make it from the Inca Kingdom, way down in Peru, all the way up to Florida? The answer goes back to the 18th century when Spanish, French, and Portuguese soldiers stole as much treasure as they could from the indigenous populations of what is now Latin America. They tried to bring all that treasure home with them in giant galleons. However, many of these galleons ended up sinking. A huge amount of treasure being smuggled was sometimes lost, sometimes up to $200 million worth. In 1715, a fleet of six ships carrying precious cargo, and by precious cargo, I mean stolen treasure, was hit by a hurricane while moving through the Florida Strait on July 31st. The entire fleet sank and all the jewels were lost. This is why the area along Florida's coast near Vero Beach is known as the Treasure Coast. This particular ring was probably stolen from the Inca, placed on that ship, and then lost when the fleet sank. 300 years later, it washed up on the shore. Number 3. Treasure in the Well a man digging a well in his yard found an unbelievable treasure that could earn him up to $100 million. This has to be the most lucrative home improvement project ever. It happened in Sri Lanka when a homeowner named Mr. Gamage needed to dig a well for water. The workers helping him dig the well in his backyard uncovered the largest star sapphire in the entire world, along with a cluster of other brilliant gemstones that turned him into a multi-millionaire overnight. The main jewel is the most incredible. Experts say the stone is roughly 1,000 pounds and about 2.5 million carats. This is why it's worth such an astounding fortune. But perhaps the most amazing part is that the person who found the valuable stone handed it over to Mr. Gamage instead of stuffing it into his pocket. Though, I guess you can't stuff a 1,000 pound rock into your pocket. It took a year of cleaning out the dirt and impurities before the gym could finally be certified. It's been named the Serendipity Sapphire. The renowned gemologist Dr. Gamini told BBC News that it's the biggest sapphire he has ever seen in his life. Number 2. Fossil Treasures Two amateur paleontologists have discovered a brilliant treasure trove of marine fossils thanks to an unexpected partner. The British paleontologists used Google Earth to find the rare treasure hoard. The couple, Neville and Sally Hollingsworth, were bored during the pandemic and were poking around on the Google app when the unexpected discovery caused them to contact the Museum of Natural History. The couple noticed something strange about the geology in the Cotswolds and suggested that archaeologists get down there and start digging. Amazingly, they did. But what nobody could have imagined is that a three-day excavation in June, scientists would discover over a thousand significant specimens three new species of animal, a new ecosystem, and some of the best preserved fossils and ancient sea animals that lived over 167 million years ago. Things like feather stars, sea lilies, and starfish. According to the report from the New York Times, the reason so many amazing fossils were discovered at the site is because there was an underwater mudslide that buried all these creatures in an instant. It was because of the Hollingsworth's sharp eyes and Google Earth that the fantastic discovery was made possible. And number one, underwater treasure. An underwater engineer discovered the most valuable underwater treasure ever. It happened back in July of 1985, after 16 years searching. Mel Fisher uncovered the shipwreck of the Nuestra Señora de Atocha, which contained within its ruined hull $1 billion worth of treasure. 35 years later, it is still the most valuable shipwreck in human history. The story of the shipwreck goes back to 1622. At the time, Spain was sending two fleets per year to both South America and Mexico to pillage treasure and then bring it back home. 
Silver and gold were mined like crazy and sent by mules to Panama, where it was loaded onto galleons and taken back to Spain. It's been estimated that Spain shipped roughly $8 billion worth of treasure from between 1530 and the late 1700s. But in 1622, there was a treasure so large that a fleet consisting of 28 ships was brought to bring it back to Spain. The galleons, the Atocha, and the Santa Margarita were the largest in the fleet and were carrying the most treasure. Well, both of these ships, along with six other vessels, were lost near Key West. Out of all 265 men on board the Atocha, only three sailors and a pair of slaves survived. The treasure was lost for over 400 years until Mel Fisher came along and found it. However, the treasure spent eight years in court before Fisher was awarded full rights to what he found. Since then, he's gotten rich and opened his own museum, displaying many of the treasures inside. Number 10. Sandy Island Sandy Island is more of a ghost island. This bizarre place was supposedly discovered in 1876, only to vanish one day like the mythical Atlantis, when a research ship was cruising through the Coral Sea near Australia, headed straight from where Sandy Island was supposed to be, the captain was shocked to discover the island was gone. All scientific databases show that the island was 15 miles long and 3 miles wide. That's about the size of Manhattan. Yet the island simply wasn't there. Obviously, scientists were eager to get to the bottom of the mystery of the island that mysteriously vanished. Maria Satan with the University of Sydney was the first to discover that something wasn't quite right. She did a bit of digging and discovered that the island definitely appeared on a 1908 edition of an admiralty map, claiming to have been discovered in 1876 by a whaling ship named Velocity. But the island was actually found and then deleted repeatedly throughout the years. It was marked in 1982 by the U.S. Defense Mapping Agency, but it had been deleted eight years before in 1974 by the French. Could this be a secret island hidden by the powers at large? Or could it just be a weird phenomenon in which the island appears and then disappears randomly? Right now, nobody knows the truth about this bizarre place, and scientists are at a total loss. What do you think is going on with Sandy Island? Number 9. Underground Antarctic Base Antarctica is already one of the most mysterious places in the world, but now UFO hunters are claiming there is actually a secret base hidden on the icy continent. Using Google Earth, internet sleuths have discovered two secret entrances leading down into what can only be described as a mysterious underground alien bunker. Of course, we don't have any evidence to say beyond a doubt that it's actually aliens. But who else could have constructed such a complicated facility in such a desolate place? It could be the military, but if the US were moving tons of supplies to the bottom of the world, somebody probably would have noticed, right? Chances are that the mysterious Antarctic base has been there for thousands of years, frozen and out of sight. But now, as the ice slowly begins to melt, its entrances have been revealed. Each entrance looks big enough for a B-52 bomber to fly through, suggesting whatever was going in and out of the base when it was still operable was enormous. Number 8. St. Michael's Mount St. Michael's Mount is one of the most mysterious secret islands anywhere in England. It's located just 5 miles from Penzance in Cornwall and has been an important place since around 400 BC, back when the Romans were around. It was a key port for exporting tin and copper, but then in 495 AD, something magical happened. A vision of the Archangel Michael led to a church being constructed on the Rocky Island Mount. So far as the legend goes, St. Michael revealed himself to a local fisherman high up on a rocky ledge. It became one of the holiest places in the world, a place that people today haven't even heard about. For 1,500 years, this was the place of pilgrims who journeyed from all across Europe to see all kinds of miracles performed. It wasn't until modern time that the island was transformed into a military fortress, then a private castle. Today, much of the mysticism and mystery behind the island's origins has been lost, though pilgrims do still venture to see the site from time to time. Number 7. The Burlington Bunker The Burlington Bunker is secreted underneath a historic English market. It is itself an underground city that comes complete with laundry rooms, kitchens, and even a subterranean lake. For a long time, this was one of the most secret locations in England. It's underneath the town of Corsham, about 100 feet beneath to be exact. It was crafted as a Cold War city, carved out of the earth using the natural limestone caves already there. 
In total, it's about 35 acres. This massive bunker was built in the 1950s and is impervious to deadly bombs, radiation, and even poison gas. It was designed to hold 4,000 government personnel in the event of a catastrophic attack, something like a nuclear strike. There are 60 miles of road down here in the bunker, and it was meant to be fully self-sufficient so that the 4,000 people dwelling here could do so in isolation for at least three months. After that, they would have to resort to cannibalism. Amazingly, the Burlington bunker was kept secret until 2004 when it was decommissioned. Not a single civilian person knew it existed. Do you think there's secret bunkers like this around today? Who do you think these bunkers are for specifically? The most intelligent minds? Whoever can afford it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe button if you haven't already. Number six, the Marshall Islands. The Marshall Islands aren't quite as mysterious as they are terrifying. Believe it or not, some of these islands like Bikini Atoll in the Pacific Ocean are significantly more radioactive than either Chernobyl or Fukushima, both of which were literal nuclear power plants that had incredibly severe meltdowns. It's because the United States tested radioactive weapons on the islands over 60 years ago. Researchers recently tested the soil here and found that levels of plutonium-239 and plutonium-240 are about a thousand times higher than at Fukushima and 10 times higher than the Chernobyl exclusion zone. These islands might not be secret anymore, though they're certainly not talked about openly, but they are strictly off limits. Just spending a little bit of time on one of these islands could turn you into a radioactive monster with extra limbs and superpowers. When did the US decide to test weapons here? It was actually after World War II ended. They wanted to test more of their nuclear arsenal and decided to drop them on the atolls starting in 1946 and then kept it going for 12 years. They tested a total of 67 nuclear weapons, with the first hydrogen bomb being dropped on Aniwatok in 1951. Nobody has any idea how long these islands will be uninhabitable for, or what kind of weird creatures might be birthed from all that radiation. Do you think it's possible the radiation has an effect on the marine life around the island? Number 5. Knights Templar Treasure Tower These are a series of secret tunnels that were dug out by the Knights Templar themselves. The secret tunnels were designed by the Knights Templar to move gold without being seen to their precious treasure tower. Archaeologists only recently discovered these mysterious tunnels underneath the city of Acre in Israel, revealed to the public by archaeologist Dr. Albert Lin. He says the Knights used the tunnels about 800 years ago. The archaeologists also discovered the remains of a luxurious fortress headquarters. The building of the tunnels and the tower go back to the Crusades and the Knights who battled for gold and glory. During the Third Crusade, they had their command center in what is today the modern city of Acre. Archaeologists used lasers and special detecting technology to scan the earth, and this is how they uncovered the tunnels, as well as a guardhouse hidden beneath the city, likely once used to protect the secret entrance. The tower itself is built beneath dozens of feet of dirt and rock and is basically impossible to excavate at this point, though at least the archaeologists know where it is. In its glory days, the tower would have been a large fortress filled to the brim with treasure scavenged from the Knights' conquests. It's not clear where all of this treasure has gone since the days of the Knights Templar, or if any of it is left in the ruins under the city where archaeologists can't get to, or if it's already been scattered to the winds. Number 4. The H.H. H. Holmes Murder Hotel The infamous location of what locals in Chicago called the Murder Castle is today an empty lot between a post office and some train tracks on the southern side of West 63rd Street. There is no monument, and there is nothing that mentions the horrors that went on here in the 1800s. But this is where the infamous castle stood until the murderer, H.H. H. Holmes, was hanged in 1896 and his horrible house torn down in 1938. The house itself is the mysterious secret place we're talking about. It is the most horrifying building that was ever constructed anywhere in the United States of America, designed by the first American serial killer, H.H. H. Holmes. It's estimated that he killed about 200 people in his hellish hotel before he got caught and was killed for his heinous crimes. He designed his hotel to be a palace of blood. It was a maze of mysterious hidden passages, death rooms where Holmes mutilated and tortured his victims and special tunnels that he could use to dispose of the bodies. There were trap doors, fake walls, and even secret stairways, all of which he used to kidnap his unsuspecting victims after they checked into his hotel. 
It was a diabolical mansion of disturbing proportions and a grim piece of history not many people know about. When Holmes was hanged on May 7, 1896, eyewitnesses said it took him 15 long minutes to die. Would you dare stay a night in the murder castle? Number 3. The Vatican Secret Archives There is no place on Earth more secret or more mysterious than the Vatican Secret Archives. These secret archives have been locked up tight for about 1,200 years. We know that inside the archives are historical documents and things like letters written by Michelangelo, the transcripts of the trial of the Knights Templar, and a birch bark entreaty written by the Ojibwe tribe in Canada back in 1887. But this is only scratching the surface. Nobody really knows what is being kept down there, and some even say the secret archives are controlled by the Illuminati. There are a few wild theories of what is being kept in the Vatican secret archives. Some say there is proof hidden down there that extraterrestrials exist. Anything from alien skulls to the truth about the Pope working in conjunction with otherworldly beings. Some even say the Vatican is hiding the truth behind Jesus and his biological descendants, and that they know his exact lineage going all the way to today. But unfortunately, this stuff is locked up and stashed away, and chances are we will never know for sure what kind of secrets these guys are keeping. What other kinds of secrets do you think the Vatican is hiding? Let us know in the comments below. Number 2. The Underground City of Naur The Underground City of Naur is a mysterious subterranean lair located just a few miles east of the village of Naur in France. It's about 72 feet underground and filled with 300 chambers. It began life as a limestone quarry built by the Romans in the 2nd century AD. The quarry fell out of use though, and local people began storing their goods inside the deep tunnels. As confrontations began more and more problematic in the early Middle Ages, more and more people started hiding in what would become an extensive underground city. At its peak, the underground city had a population of about 3,000 people. Eventually, people even began to construct wells, stables, bakeries, and chapels. They planned things extremely well, and the chimneys from the baker's ovens and any other fires were routed through cottages and other existing structures above ground, so no one would have any clue as to what was going on below. Evidence also suggests that in the 9th century AD, Viking invaders let themselves into the underground settlement and just decided to stay there. The city remained in use until Europe became a little more stable and it was no longer needed. The secret city was then abandoned and not rediscovered until 1887, when a man renovating his house found a mysterious hole in his wall that led down into the city. And number one, mystery spot. The St. Ignace mystery spot is exactly what the name describes. It is a mysterious place with a history that goes back to the 1950s. Back then, some surveyors were exploring the area when they realized none of their equipment was working. They did a few tests and realized that there was a circle roughly 300 feet in diameter in which nothing worked. It was a bizarre and mysterious blank spot. Ever since then, people who visit the mystery spot report strange happenings, like gravity not working the way it should, tall people looking short, and a sensation of nausea. Nobody knows why people experience such strange phenomena in such a small spot, and most scientists believe it actually has nothing to do with the spot and has more to do with the human brain as people try to convince themselves that something weird is going on. Either that, or the St. Ignace mystery spot is actually over top a secret Indian burial ground. Thanks for watching. Which of these bizarre places would you love to visit? Let us know in the comments below, and be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and come back again soon for another awesome video. See you next time.